Hey there, I am Lucas and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how you can create a very quick model in Blender, UV unwrap it and uh, import that into Overgrowth so you can load it up as your own custom object. So before we get started, you can download over uh, what I'm saying, you can download Blender at blender.org. Just hit Blender, download Blender to the right there and download it for your operating system. And once you've done that, you install it and you launch it and it's going to look something like this. Just click to remove the overlay there, and I'm going to remove everything by hitting A twice and X and click. Alright, so I'm going to create a cylinder <clears throat> for myself. So to do that, I hit Shift A, Mesh Cylinder. And scroll in a lot. I want to change the shading to be a smoother, because as you can see, it's kind of hard now, so hit smooth there. But that made it so I have all sorts of errors at the top instead. So to fix that, with the object selected, you use right click to select stuff. You go to the wrench menu and add modifier and edge split. And now it's looking like it should. Use the middle mouse button to kind of look around your object like that. Alright, so now we need to just UV unwrap it. That's all the modeling that we need to do. We need to UV unwrap it now so it can have a texture applied to it. To do that, just hit this button up here and then go to UV editing. Hit tab to go into edit mode. You can go out of edit mode with the same button. And make sure you have everything selected by hitting A and then press, and you go down this list here, and then you hit unwrap there and then unwrap. Now this is not looking right, so I actually forgot a step here. You need to hold Alt and right click on one of these edges to select it. And then mark a seam there, do the same for the bottom. And then do the same for one of these edges. And now it's able to be UV unwrapped properly. So select everything again with A, and then unwrap, unwrap, and there you have it. Now to make this look a bit nicer, we can change the method down here to conformal, and uh, there we go, it's looking looking nice and dandy. So that is all the modeling that we need to do for now. If you want to, you can save this as a blend file, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to export, and then wavefront obj, because that's what overgrowth is using for its file format. So let's go into our overgrowth folder. That's for me, D games overgrowth data, and then a, there should be a custom folder here, otherwise just create it. And in here you can create a folder for yourself that can have like your username or something like that. I'm just gonna create a new directory called uh, tutorial. So hop in there, and in here we want to create a folder for our models. This stuff isn't really necessary, but it helps keep, keep everything organized and nice. So go into the models folder, I'm going to save my model as cylinder. But before I hit export, let's scroll down and make sure all of these checkboxes are right. So we want to include the normals, otherwise eh, the model will show up as all hard edged, it won't have any of that smoothness that we added. And then we want to uncheck right materials, because otherwise it's uh, going to create an extra file for us that we don't really need, so it's not necessary to uncheck that, but uh, just going to do it to keep things clean. So, now we're done with the Blender, let's minimize it. And uh, go into our Overgrowth folder, so Games Overgrowth for me. And then Data, and then Custom, and then Tutorial, and in here I have my exported model. Now, we need to have textures for the model as well, so I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it Tech. Textures, and I have already created some textures that I'm going to give you that you can download in the from the description, and I have them in here. Okay, so we have these three textures. I'm just going to copy them and paste them in there. So, looking at these textures, you have the blank normal, which is just a normal map that is entirely blank. A normal map, by the way, is a texture file that decides. Uh, it kind of gives the surface a detailed look, even though it doesn't add any geometry to it. So, yeah, all of the objects in Overgrowth needs to have a normal map. Uh, even, yeah, you can't you can't not define the normal map. The the game will crash if you try to load an object that does not have a normal map, or maybe it will just load the model all messed up. Anyways, uh, then we have a normal map for my texture that I've made that I'm going to give you. You can download, where you can kind of see how it looks. And uh, then of course we have the color, but uh, you can't see a lot there, and that's because Overgrowth uses the transparency of the texture to determine how shiny an object is. So if this would have been 
um, so untransparent that you would be able to see it, the, it would show up very shiny in the game. So if it's not transparent at all, it's super shiny. If it's 100% transparent, then it's, uh, uh, it's super unshiny, I guess. So yeah, that's something you need to think about when you make, uh, make textures for growth. Um, so now we have our textures, we have our model. Now we just need to create a file that tells the game where the model is, where the textures are, and so the game can put them together and give them to us as a model in the game. So I'm going to create a new folder with uh, alt F W F and I'm going to call it objects because those files are called objects. And in here I'm going to create a text file. I can actually do alt F W T to create a text file. And this is going to be called cylinder.xml. It doesn't need to be called cylinder, um, but uh, it, you can call it whatever. I'm going to call it cylinder because my model is a cylinder. Uh, if you cannot see the file endings here in Windows, you can hit Alt to bring up this uh, menu here and then go to Tools, Folder Options, go to View, and then uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. And that'll make you able to see all of the file endings. So open this one up, and then in here we're going to tell the game where the different files are located, so so it knows where they are and they can load it for us. Uh, I have a prepared uh, template that I'm going to be using and that I'm going to give to you too. There is no reason to reinvent the wheel here or like rewrite everything every time. So here's the template. It's just a uh, a very basic file showing where the model is, where the color texture is, where the normal texture is, and then what shader it's going to use. And we don't even need to change the shader unless we're going to create like an object with transparency or that has several textures on one object or something like that. So just take everything in here and paste it into my own object. And then save it and close the object XML. So, the model file. The model we have is located in overgrowth, data, custom, tutorial, and then models, and cylinder.obj. So that's the path that we want to specify. So it starts out in the overgrowth directory, it goes into data, and then custom, and then username, I'm going to switch that to tutorial, because that's the folder that we're in. And then it's in the models folder, as you can see up there. And then the file itself is called, uh, let's see, cylinder.obj. And then we'll do the same thing for the color map and the normal map. So the color map is in textures, it's called concrete underscore color.png, I'm just going to copy that. And color, data, custom, and then it's tutorial and textures, model underscore color.png, so I'm just going to paste that there. By the way, for the file formats, you can use a lot of different file formats. I'm using PNG because the program I use to, uh, to create my textures cannot output to TGA, which I would normally use otherwise. But you can use almost any format, and of course it supports transparency, which is very very important for uh, for creating an object for growth. Otherwise, if it does not have any transparency, once again it's going to show up super duper shiny in the game. So save that, and that's all we need to do. I'm just going to start overgrowth and try to load this object, and keep my fingers crossed that I don't get any any errors. So red desert is the level that I'm going to load, because it's a level that's quick to load. It has a few objects on it. So it's really simple, you just create your model, you create your textures, and then you create the file that tells the game where the model and the textures are. And then you open up the game, hit the load item button, go to the uh, folder icon there to load the object. And then I'm going to go into overgrowth data, custom, tutorial, objects, not the model, you load the object file. And then you just load the cylinder.xml or whatever your file is called, hit open, and then it's going to take a while to load because um, the first time it's uh, reconverting the textures and these textures are quite large so it might take a few moments to for it to convert the textures to a format that the game can actually use. But once that is done, we are just going to click on the ground to load the object in that position, so I'm just going to click there, and there you have it. The object is now inside of Overgrowth and ready to be used and used, used to build levels with and stuff like that. So, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And 
yeah, I'll be back with another one in the future. So thank you for watching and uh, see you, man.